So just starting off this morning's seed plucking. And these are purple clovers. You can see here's the flower. And then these, when they dry like this, the seed head is in there. So I take that off. So when the flower's dead and dried like that, that is the purple clover seed head. And then you can see there's the seed right there. It's wrapped in a piece of its own material. So I add them to the mix. And my seed helpers, very consistent in their help. Plenty of seed pods in this vetch. You can see there's a good embankment of vetch here. Loads of vetch. All this is vetch along here. The seeds just aren't ripe yet. So I'll just go and collect it from somewhere else. You can see their pods are like pea pods. And when they're ripe, they turn black. But that vetch patch, it has a bit of ripening to do before I harvest. So here is some vetch that's ripe, you can see right there. So because they pop, sometimes pop when you harvest them, I put the bin over them. You can see there's a whole bunch right here. Some of these have already popped. You can see this one here has already popped. Seeds have already spread. That one's empty. There's nothing in it. So these have all popped. You can see the twist. Probably in the storm last night. Oh, that one hasn't popped. Oh no, it has. See, they roll up and pop. So here's one that hasn't popped. So there's a few that I will collect that haven't popped yet but the rest have fallen down in amongst that ivy. So this is a laborious way to rejuvenate my grassland biodiversity. But if you don't have the money, it's the way I've been doing it for years. So it costs me time, but it's a beautiful sunny day. And time is my own. I don't have to charge myself time. So now in this section here, I'm looking for the yellow clover uh, seeds where they might be ripe. Here's yellow clover seeds and they're not ripe. They're still up. Oh, look, there's some ripe ones right there. There's some ripe ones. There. Add to the mix. So you can see here, this th these are half ripe. But it's better if you get them when they're fully ripe. There's another one that's ripe. Or the majority of them are ripe. Because then they'll be ready. So here's my mixture so far. Here's a nice, healthy stand of salad burnet, and the seed heads are all weighed down and ready for harvest. So 
just pull their heads off. Look at that. It's a little green, but they're going to go and be planted relatively soon. I dry them out a little and then spread them to other locations. So, I think it's trying to figure out what I'm doing. The daisies will be a little while before their seed heads are ready for spreading. But this is the salad brunette. There's a shield bug. They're fantastic with their stripes. Very chic with their black and white stripes. These are also known as stink bugs to some people. But pulling the seed heads is what we're doing today. As I walk through the long grass, I see this chrysalis. I think, I could be wrong, but I think this is a, um, one of my favorite moths. Oh, and I burnt, what is it called? Oh, I can't remember what it's called. But I think it's, it's very fresh and new. So that'll be in a butterfly in a little while. Oh, I'm being stupid, I can't think um, what this is, what, which butterfly this is. Which moth it is, this is a moth, not a butterfly. So this is why you keep long grasses long, so that the caterpillars can turn into moths and butterflies. I think has been keeping me company, so you can see. Lovely black, yellow clover seeds to add to my mix. But Inca's dedicated to staying close, aren't you? Such a good pup. I'm on this bank and there's loads of yellow clover seeds. Loads and loads of them as I'm walking along. This big fella has hopped. There we go. There he is. Big old frog. Beautiful big frog. Hopefully, uh oh, stay there. Nope, I don't want you to harm this frog. Oh, oh it's gone in there. Thank goodness, okay. So that's in grassland. When you have healthy grassland, if you have frogs, really good. And luckily, it can stay hidden because the grass is so thick. Oh, Pepper, you lying down keeping me company. I'm on my own knees and you're keeping me company. You're such a good old man. Yes. Make no never mind of frogs walking through grass. Isn't that right? We have two different kinds of grasshoppers here. There's this big green one. And then there's that smaller one over there. You see? So, I'm about to jump. There's the big one. And the small one. Oh, look at the ant. <laughs> and. <laughs> now I have a puppy on me. Looking at grasshoppers and suddenly overwhelmed with dogs. Oh, puppers. Oh, puppers. Look at this, all the dogs and my seed. Oh, look, there's a grasshopper on the seed thing. So there's a lot of people who think grasshoppers don't exist in Ireland anymore. Well, they certainly do. We've got loads. This one is even here with me collecting seeds. Look at you. I don't want to take you inside, so you got to get out. One, one more hop. One more hop. There, it's gone into the grasses. 
So I'm now going to go inside and have a cup of coffee. I've collected seeds and I need to spread them out on a tray to let them dry out a little. So time for coffee. Okay, Inca, let's go inside and have coffee.